If I had to choose just one, maybe two, maybe three. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking lipsticks, one of my favorite categories in makeup. I'm actually gonna be trying out the six new shades of the Milani lipsticks. These are the fetish matte lipsticks. They actually launched a nude range first, and this is their new flora line. Here's the entire collection swatched on my arm so you guys can see them all next to each other. So we have Peony, Petal, Blossom, Poppy, Fleur, and Dahlia. They're so pretty lined up next to each other. And here they are swatched next to the original six more nude shades, which I also did a video on. I'll have that link down below, but just really quickly, we have Tease, Pleasure, Secret, Passion, Desire, and Sensual. So the only ones that are a little bit similar are Secret and then Peony, but even then, I feel like Peony is definitely more warm toned than Secret. However, if you're a fan of Secret, I think you might really like the shade Peony if you're looking for something a little more warm toned. This collection launched with like eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that, but I only picked up the lipsticks because I enjoyed the formula so much. I was so excited to see that they had new shades. So these retail for $8.99, but I did get them all together in like a bundle for $40 with free shipping. So it made everything around $6 and something. So as always, I like to swatch them on my lips. And so let's just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. This is the lightest shade in the line. This one is called Peony. This is so pretty. I feel like with Valentine's Day coming up, I'm just already inspired by even the packaging of these lipsticks. And I'm hoping to also find something that will be great for every day. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. It has the same moussey formula. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like to apply them straight from the bullet and then just take my finger and kind of smooth out the edges. So there's the first shade, so pretty for spring and great for every day. It's got a nice warm undertone to it if you're into that. This is definitely a very wearable color from the range since the rest of them look pretty bright. I also love the packaging, like come on, it's so pretty. Like I wanna just set it on my desk and look at them all the time because I think it's such luxurious packaging. Moving on to the second shade, this one is called Petal. Again, such beautiful packaging. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, this one's a lot more bright and definitely more pink. Let's see how this looks on. So there's that shade called Petal. Please excuse my lip lines. Normally when I wear bold colors, I wear a lip liner, but because I'm doing swatches back to back, it's a little bit more sloppy because I'm not using liner every time, but this is such a pretty color. So far, this seems to be like a very warm toned range, which keep in mind, this is gonna look different depending on your skin tone and undertone as well. So for reference, I have fair to light skin tone with a neutral undertone. So I can usually wear both warm and cool lips Lipsticks. I personally do gravitate toward more cool lipsticks, but this one is really pretty, really flattering, and just kind of livens up the face, which I really like. I don't feel like I own a color quite like this one. It's really pretty. Next up, I'm gonna try the shade Blossom. Blossom is like a hot pink. I'm excited about this. Ooh, yeah, wow. They're so smooth and so pigmented. Wow, okay, this is one that I was not expecting to love. Maybe because it was a little bit intimidating just looking at it, but once it's on, it is so pretty. I love that there's kind of like a watermelon undertone to this one. Ooh, this might be my favorite one so far, which is kind of surprising. I wasn't expecting to like this one just based off of the packaging and like the swatches that I've seen online. But on me, I really like this. How gorgeous would that be for Valentine's Day? Honestly, so pretty. And my lips are definitely already starting to stain, which is pretty typical with bright colors like this, but that's all right. We will continue to swatch. I'm gonna move on to the shade Poppy, which looks like just a true red. Let's see what this one looks like. So yeah, it just seems like a pretty true red. It doesn't seem like anything too bright at all, but there's only way to find out, I guess. Ooh, pretty. Okay, this is really pretty. Definitely a shade that's just classic because it's a red. Normally with a red lipstick, I would spend a little more time perfecting the edges, but hopefully you get the idea with this one. I like how this one is just a genuine true red. There's nothing too crazy about it. I feel like it's something that would flatter everybody. I feel like everyone looks good in a red lipstick, you know? This one is really nice. I love how pigmented these are, and I love kind of the moussey matte formula that they give. They wear really well on me, actually. That one's really pretty, it's really nice. Red isn't always a go-to for me when it comes to like a more bold lip, but I feel like I should like try to wear red more often. All right, let's move on to the shade Fleur. This looks really pretty. This is like a nice berry color. My finger is also stained from blotting my lips. Look how gorgeous this one is, wow. I'm excited about this one. Let's go ahead and try it on. 
Wow, how pretty is this one? I love this true berry. It's not too deep, but it's definitely deep enough to really make a statement. I've been seeing a lot of my favorite makeup artists use berry lipsticks these days on clients, and I feel like if you're looking for that vibe, this would be a really great color to achieve that effect that I've been seeing on a lot of like celebrities lately. This is the perfect berry shade. It's not too purple, it's not too red. It's like right in the middle and I'm loving it. Wow, that looks really good. All right, last but not least, we have the deepest shade in the range, which is called Dahlia. This one is also a berry, but it's much deeper. It's almost like a blackberry kind of a color. So let's go ahead and try this on. Ooh, that's pretty. I really need a lip liner with this one. This one initially was a little bit more patchy than the other ones, which sometimes just comes with the nature of these types of colors. But I did just wanna mention that, and I feel like my lip lines are so ridiculous looking right now, but this is definitely more of a vampy berry color on me. I think it's really pretty, but I feel like I prefer the one that I just tried on over this one. I still think it's really pretty, but for me, this is definitely more of like a fall and holiday winter type of a lip look. I I'm looking for more bright, fun colors as we move into spring, so this might be my least favorite out of the bunch, but it's still a really pretty color. The deeper colors will stain your lips, so just keep that in mind. I love when deeper lipsticks leave a little bit of a stain, and then you can just apply a clear balm on top. I like how that looks anyway. All right, I'm gonna take my Lisa Eldridge Blush Lip Pencil. I'm just gonna trace the edges of my lips with this, and then I'm gonna go into the shade Blossom, which was that really fun, bright pink. And I'm just gonna fill in the edges with this. I was gonna layer on another one in the center, but I actually love how that looks by itself with the lip liner. I'm adding a little bit more blush. I'm just taking my Tarte blush in the shade Doll Face and adding a bit more color to the cheeks to balance things out. I am loving this shade. I think these shades are really, really fun. Again, for Valentine's Day, for spring, if you're into more bold colors and you really like the formula of the matte fetish lipsticks from Milani, I think you're gonna really enjoy these. I will be sure to leave a note in the description box letting you guys know how how this wears for the rest of the night. I am familiar with this formula, however, maybe with the bolder, warmer tone colors, maybe they'll wear off a little bit differently, so check the description box for a wear test note. All right, you guys, so that completes this video of me trying out and swatching all the new Milani lipsticks. These colors are so fun. I'm really, really excited about them. If I had to choose just one, um, I would definitely, mm, maybe two, mm, maybe three. <laughs> Okay, my top three are definitely Peony, if I have to choose one that was just more for every day. It is more warm tone, so this would be a great one for me personally, if I have something really simple on the eyes. My second favorite is definitely Blossom, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. If I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna use this one. It's just really fun, it's a hot pink, but it's not too light or too cool toned, which is really flattering, I feel like. And then I actually really enjoyed the shade Fleur, which was that berry tone. I think I'm gonna use this quite a bit, especially, you know, for a night out, I feel like a berry tone would be really beautiful. This is almost more of a fun daytime lip. You could wear it no matter what time it is, but I think this would be more daytime romantic and the berry is a little bit more sultry and great for evening. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite shade was. How do you guys feel about these lipsticks? Are you loving them as much as I am? I would love to hear from you in the comments comments down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.